Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have got my September update for my 2022 project pan, which is vaguely terrifying because we're, we're now into the last third of it. If this is the first video that you've clicked on, I will link my 2022 project pan playlist up in the eye so that you can go watch it from the beginning if you'd rather. If not, then yeah, let's get into this update. <laughs> So I am making a change at this point in the project, which seems a bit risky, but we're doing it. Um, so if you've been watching along, you'll know my Chanel Lilian perfume. I actually only marked it for the first time in the last update because I don't really like marking perfume bottles. Um, so it's only actually got two marks on it, but it has been in the project since the start. And I feel like I've been saying for the last number of updates, like, I really don't want to finish this within the project because I love it so much that I know I will want to replace it as soon as I run out of it and I've got so many perfumes at the moment that I absolutely need to finish some other ones before I'd be able to justify replacing it. So I've actually decided that I'm taking it out of the project so that I'm not kind of going through it any quicker than I normally would by concentrating on it for the project but I am rolling something in in its place and that is my Chanel number no. 5 which as you can see is brand new. I actually have two bottles of Chanel number no. 5 in my collection at the moment. The other ones get a little bit more out of it but it's the limited edition packaging from 2018 I think. It's in a beautiful red bottle so it's slightly harder to see through so I thought this one would be better for project panning. I've got my washi tape on the back, I've marked it that it's full and up at the top. That's what I am going to roll in and see what progress I can make on this between now and the end of the year. So that is the item that is replacing Le Leon. Le Leon is leaving the project, Chanel number no. 5 is entering it. <laughs> product that's uh, not leaving quite yet but I think will be leaving us really soon is my Davines the Spell so this time not leaving because I'm rolling it out but definitely going to be finished this by the next update. I'm so so pleased with this. This had been in my collection since before I went in my first no buy in 2018 so I bought it at some point probably in 2017 at the latest. I don't like a lot of product in my hair so I feel like hair products are something that I really was moving through so slowly and I was like kind of doing that thing where because of all my inventories the hair care inventory was the lowest in terms of both quantity and value I was the least worried about it I wasn't paying it a lot of attention and um, I thought I was going to kind of just move through it quite organically and then I realized like although it's the smallest it's one of the ones that goes down by the least as well so the actual percentage of movement on it and um, is pretty stagnant so I'm really pleased that I actually put this in this project and have used it up because, well, I've not quite used it up yet, but I'm going to use it up within the project and yeah, it would have still been here this time next year had I not put it in. So I am so, so pleased that I put it in and have made all this progress on it. I'm really, really satisfied. <laughs> The next item that we'll talk about is one that I talk about every time and I'm like, I don't know why, it's, it, you just need so little of this. It was a dreadful item to put in my project pan, but it is my NARS foundation and you can see from my markings on the side, it's gone down just about the same as it goes down every single month. You need so, so little of this, like a tiny little drop spread so, so far. Fairly sure that's why NARS discontinued it because they realised if they sold somebody this, they didn't need another bottle of foundation for approximately three years. Um, so yeah, you can see, I mean, I use this consistently and it goes down by the same amount every single update, basically. It's, um, yeah, I thought I would finish this. This has really opened my eyes. I definitely thought that, like, base products, like foundations, primers, like, going with kind of absolutely no real basis, I'd sort of decided that the average length of time that it would take to use up a foundation would be like three to four months. Pulled that one out of thin air, don't really know why. Um, and clearly 
not the case. This has like really, really opened my eyes because I really have been concentrating in this. I've got three like deluxe sample foundations that I've been using if I've gone on holiday or whatever and I took um, my KVD Beauty foundation to London for the week but this has been like my daily through the week going to work foundation like this has seen far more use. It's, it's not that I've not been using this because I've been like con I mean I've not even finished any other foundations either so it's not even like oh I've not finished this but I've finished something else like no I just concentrate on this and get very little movement and occasionally use a different foundation just to keep them in rotation um, so yeah it's really really opened my eyes to like even when I'm majorly concentrating in a foundation I don't use it up within three months so I really don't need to have the amount of foundation that I have that is the point <laughs> Next product to talk about is my Colourpop Elsa lip gloss. I thought this would be done by this update. I can't remember if the stopper was out in the last update or not, but the stopper is out now if it wasn't in the last update. Um, and I've just got a tiny little bit of product hanging around the bottom, so I need to use a lip brush with this now. That's what's kind of slowing down the use on it. Um, and I've also got lip glosses in my a 13 by Halloween project pan which you'll see the update on next week so that has slowed it down a little bit and I thought it would be done by this update but there's still a tiny bit of product but I think it will be done by the next update and I mean it will certainly be done within the project so I'm really pleased and not worried <laughs> I've actually hit my initial goal on is my lipstick so initially I just wanted to use this down to the imprint where it said Guerlain on it now I actually used into that if you look at the close-ups of this lipstick there's a tiny like bottom of the G hanging around the side there it's literally all that's left of the imprint so I've used it down to the imprint into the imprint and we basically need enough got the imprint off other than that tiny, tiny little sliver of the bottom of the G there. So I'm really, really pleased with that, but I'm not gonna roll it out the project, I'm just gonna keep it in. It goes down like such a tiny amount every single month, but do you know what, I was actually, I was looking at it because I was feeling a little bit discouraged actually with it, but I was actually, I was looking at like the initial intro cutaway of this versus where it is now, and I just, the difference is huge, like although it's, tiny every single month it's actually huge when you look at it so I'm really really pleased on the progress that I've made within this lipstick and yeah I'm not going to take it out yet I'm just going to keep it in and see where we end up by the end of the project having already actually hit the goal that I wanted to hit on it. <laughs> Another base product that is going way slower again than I thought it would, my MAC concealer, but I'm not bothered because it's going really consistently and it definitely is going to be finished within the project. Like I have no worries about it and I'm not I'm not complaining at all that things take longer to use than I would have kind of thought because it kind of just means things are even better value for money than I thought, but in my head I've kind of always been like, oh my colour products are like you know I'm never going to finish them but 
I've sort of always thought as long as I keep project planning or whatever like I will eventually work through my whole base collection and did like one declutter that I kind of included those in but I've always kind of thought oh I'll work through them fairly steadily. I'm so sorry I keep getting interrupted by noise so I'm really sorry if this video seems really bitty I would like saying something then have to stop wait for the noise to stop and then start again I can't quite remember what I was saying but yeah basically when I put this in the project it had a huge pattern in it to start with I thought it would be done super super quickly and um, but here we are we're in the September update it's still in the project it's still not finished and um, it'll definitely be done within the project I'm not worried at all about it but it's definitely been eye-opening to see even starting it thinking this was so close to done how long it's actually lasted within the project <laughs> One that sort of appears close to done but is definitely not is this blush and um, however I do think it can't I can't actually decide if I'm just being delusional like looking for hope with this one um, but I, I do feel like there's a bit of a difference on this this update I definitely feel like like this product at the side here and I don't really know if that will translate to the cutaways but I feel like it's getting thinner you know I think I said this last time as well I feel like one day I'll like stroke the brush over it and a whole load of it will will lift up and I feel like that's like little bits have started lifting I think I hope um but yeah consistently using it still enjoying using it I uh, wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more like blatant movement so that I don't need to like question if I'm just going mad thinking that I'm seeing movement that I may or may not actually be seeing um but yeah happy to keep using it and We'll just see where we end up by the end of the project really. I, I feel like I don't even know what's realistic with this at this point because it's taken so long to move so little but as I said before having finished like these top three that does seem to be the case with these powders they seem to like not change for ages and then once you get the pattern they seem to move quite quickly um, and I think when I repress this for the start of this project you know I've maybe kind of re-solidified it and I need to get through to the pan again so we'll see um, but happy to keep using it and see where we end up. My next product, I never really set a goal on this, it had a beautiful imprint on it when I put it into the project and I just wanted to to make progress on it which I have done because I've totally worn away that imprint, really really enjoy using this, happy to keep using it. I don't think I'll hit pattern within the project but I'm enjoying using it so no complaints, no regrets about putting it in and I will keep it in on the off chance that we do get a pattern before the end of the year. <laughs> And then the last products to talk about my Mon Guerlain shower gel which has I thought I used this loads this month like I thought I totally was like bathing myself in this and then I marked it and it's come down like the same tiny little amount that it comes down pretty much every month so um yeah it's slowly but surely moving and yeah it is what it is it's moving way more than it would have moved this year had I not put it in the project I finished the perfume because I put this in the project and this is where my body lotion is at so I think I will definitely finish the body lotion within the year even if we've still got a bit of this left at the end but we'll see we'll see where we end up
Anyway, that is everything for this update. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like Project Pan content, I've got a lot more of it. So I will link up my 2021 Project Pan playlist that you can go back and watch in full. Um, I've got my 13 by Halloween Project Pan running just now as well. So I'll also link up that playlist. And I will link up the playlist for this project so that you can watch it from the start if you've not done that already. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you find something else on my channel to enjoy. And I will see you in my next video, which will be my next 13 by Halloween Project Pan update. So lots of Project Pan content. If you like that, do hit subscribe and I will see you in the future. Bye.